Can you believe that after last week? 90s last week. Uh -huh. And if you look at Heavenly Village right now, I just want to uh, peek in up in the Sierra right now for a look quick view. That. Here's the thing about today's rain. It's not that big a deal here. It will impact the commute. We're going to look at that in a lot of detail. But it's like a couple hundredths of an inch here today. They're going to get a foot and a half of snow up on Donner Pass and maybe four or five inches down in lake level at Tahoe today. You can see what's going on. The system is really much more oriented to make snow in the Sierra. More on that later. Let's come back home. Here's the uh, close-up look at First Alert Doppler. Light showers out there for sure. There's plenty of cameras I can show you that have light misting raindrops on the lens right now, and Gianna's going to do more on the drive. But if we take a look at what Futurecast has to show us, it's going to stay like this with light showers pretty much Bay Area-wide all the way through the heart of the commute. And then by the time we get to about noon today, the light rain comes to an end, and you can even see a very well-defined back edge to the clouds right there for the afternoon. So for the whole second half of today, like from 1 o'clock on, it's going to be more blue sky than anything else. There might be a few isolated showers that try to get in here in the late afternoon and early evening. You can see them kind of working their way down through the North Bay, but few and far between. This is primarily a morning commute light mist, but the roads will be slick. So plan on that. And it does get windy. Screen lights up as we go through the afternoon, and we could see 25 to 30 mile an hour gusts, which means the daytime highs, which don't get out of the 50s all day today, are going to feel cooler. So it's a bit damp. It's going to be windy at times. And with numbers that only climb into the upper 50s today, this is a hugely different day than what we've had for about the last week around here. Few of us might get into the low 60s, like Concord and Fairfield. Look at the snow, though. That's about a foot and a half getting down to around 4,000 feet in the Sierra. But there's another system coming our way. Tomorrow it doesn't rain. Tuesday we're taking a day off from any exciting weather. Wednesday the next system comes back. So if we go back to the wide view, that's Wednesday evening. Another chance for rain shows up. If we just look at rainfall totals for late Wednesday, into Thursday, maybe another tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain on that. Then there's another system that comes in Friday into Saturday. Watch how that bumps rainfall totals up. The timing on these things is going to adjust as we get closer to them. And when we get into the seven day forecast, it's just going to look like it starts raining Wednesday and doesn't stop until Sunday. That's not the case, obviously, but there's a chance of rain on each one of these days. But for Wednesday, it's primarily late Wednesday into Thursday. Then another system comes in likely same timing. In other words, late Friday into Saturday, but each day's got a chance of rain on it. If you're looking at Sunday, Easter looks fairly dry. We don't necessarily have the best odds on rain for Easter Sunday at this point. And you can see that in the warm-up, back into the low 70s by Sunday.